Zazu's 104, keep it a beat with Monster Prom. So, uh, alright, so it's, hmm. it's Devin's turn now. So, who do you want to sit with? I think this is at the point of who do you want to start wooing. Because so far, you made a start with, um, with Vera, the Gorgon Girl, but that's if you want to woo the Gorgon Girl. So, if I sit here, you, right? have, the, you have the chance to woo the, the Vampire Dork and the Mermaid Hottie. Yeah, this guy, though, would be annoying. So I don't want to sit there. Well, I mean, I, you, do you not like the mermaid girl? You don't have to uh, choose the vampire boy. I don't want to be stabbed if I end up, like, making her slightly angry or something. Oh, yeah, she's, she's genocidal. genocidal. Right, right, okay. Uh, well, you can't get Polly. She's mine. Okay. Not that one? That person? Yeah, she's my girl. Okay. All right, don't fucking... We can both sit here! Don't, don't, <laughs> don't cock block me, Devin. I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna sit here, yeah. Uh, all right. All right, cool. Uh, Vera's drinking her customary lunchtime scotch because you could drink whatever the hell you want at school. But Scott's not making it easy for her. Hey, Vera, what you drinking? Scotch, why? Because uh, it smells like a delicious forest fire, and I'm curious, what's it called? Scotch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yes? Oh, my God. No, that's what it's called. What? Scotch! Yes? <laughs> Fucking idiot. No, I'm not saying your name. I'm saying the name of the drink I'm drinking. It's Scotch! It's mine? <laughs> oh my god. No, it's mine! Then why is it called Scotch? <laughs> That's just what it's called! Oh. Is it like an energy drink for Scots? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, it's like an energy drink for Scottish people. <laughs> Hey, I'm a Scottish person. I'm as Scottish as I'll possibly be. I'm the most Scott. <laughs> Wait, okay. No! God, what will it take to get you to drop this issue? We have a runner-up for the most stupid person <laughs> in the school so far. <laughs> yeah, no, her and Pim probably come to a pretty close lead. Scott's not gonna drop it unless you do something. So cut in and say... Uh, yeah, it's called Scott's, but today is opposite day, so everything at Scott's is actually Vera's. <laughs> You're right, Scott. That drink is your birth is your birthright. <laughs> chug, 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 chug. All right, it's up to you. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, it's obvious that which one's gonna achieve yeah. the appeal of who, but uh, it's I mean, who wants to her Larry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but at this point now, you just want to. Okay, cool. Funny. Yeah. Don't you mean today isn't opposite day? Oh, crap! Crap! You found a loophole. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Abort mission run! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry, not Vera. I guess I'll be taking your drink! Wow. He really, <sighs> dude, dude, he showed his smarts today. Wink. <laughs> he doesn't wink, he just says wink. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, so I get. Wait, is he, is he just stupid or a fucking genius? <laughs> he's constantly winking. <laughs> no, he's not. No, he isn't. That was just the same. Uh, just... Wait, time out. If everything that Scott's is Vera's, do I have to give Vera all my stuff? Yeah. Yes. Especially your money. And, <laughs> yeah, right. and your brains. Or, or lack thereof. Oh, okay. So does Vera have to give me all her stuff? Because Sure. Unfortunately for you, I have no stuff. All my possessions are owned by cleverly disguised shell companies. Now hand over your wallet. <laughs> oh, damn. Dude. <laughs> Big likely. Okay, okay, boy, opposite day sure is the best, isn't it? <laughs> so he, okay, he, he gave like him, she day. gave her his goddamn wallet. It sure is. After Scott leaves you alone, and Vera definitely don't, you and Vera definitely don't spend all his money on cocaine. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> all right, the, the spewsher. Okay, so you want to go here, right? No, I don't want to go to the cat check. I want to go to my beloved ghost girl, please. You arrive at your chosen table to find Damien dejective, dejectedly hefting a ball of mashed potatoes <laughs> while Polly sadly passes her hand through the same. Oh, she's a ghost, right? It's funny. <laughs> Seriously, what do we have to do to get a food fight started in this cafeteria? I honestly do not know. I try throwing potatoes at people and yelling, food fight, but I think everyone is too scared of me to fight back. And I can't throw any food because of my stupid ghost hands. Plates, mirrors, antique furniture, sure, but not food. <laughs> Plates and mirrors, he's just like that paranormal shit. It's funny. There's gotta be a way to provoke a food war. My dads are always telling me to be more political. My, da Ooh, my, my dads. dads? Whoa. Okay, then. I, that says stuff about Damien. 2018 guy. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not political. Your strength is hitting things, 
and my strength is being unbelievably hot all the time. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> unbelievably hot. That's it. We'll set the cafeteria on fire. I think. I don't think that's gonna be a food fight. I think it's just gonna be a fight. I think that's just gonna be straight up arson. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, that's not a solution. That's just arson. Okay, you're right. God damn. <laughs> Why do I always jump straight to arson? <laughs> It's hard to watch them struggle through this by themselves. So you step in with an idea of your own. Okay. Uh, wars are fought over scarce resources. Steal everybody's food and put it in a pile. That ought to do it. Oh, cool. We'll literally be the Hunger Games. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Holly. Hey, Polly. You know how the Greeks fought a whole war over Helen of Troy's face? Flash the Yes. Flash the cafeteria. Please. Yes. That one. That one. That one. That one. Hey, yeah! I was planning to do that later anyway, after I finished this quart of ectoboos! Ectoboos. <laughs> Polly floats up onto the table and, in a practice motion, whips her top off. Please show scene. To the victor! This is a high school cafeteria. Polly's rash action upsets the roiling cauldron of hormones, <laughs> sets it on fire, and tap dances on the ruins. Soon the air is thick with sausage and gravy. Potato crisps fly everywhere like flavored sharpnel. Shrapnel. Shrapnel, not my, shrapnel. My bad. I'm just, I'm just less like fucking sue me. Polly puts her shirt back on now that everyone's too busy fighting to remember that they're fighting about. <laughs> Looks like mine really were the tits that launched the thousand chips. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love this girl. The view you just got makes that pun worth it. Oh, oh I wanted to see your tits! <laughs> problem, man. <laughs> well, Alright, everybody chooses the food. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before thinking. Uh, potato, oh. potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> hmm. No, no, no. Big, uh, big potatoes. What What type of food would be the best weapon? That's. Oh, yeah, that's we're, going, we're going, going food for fight. food fight. Swordfish. <laughs> hmm. It's a fish. It's food. Am I able to go with like a drink? N no, no, you gotta pick food. No. I'm gonna say soda with Mentos. <clears throat> it's just a grenade. Uh, <laughs> soda with I don't know, man. I on. mean, cafeteria food is normally poisonous anyway. So pick the don't... pick the grossest cafeteria food. Okay. At your school. Oh, I'm gonna pick what I hate. <clears throat> pizza sticks. Okay, pizza sticks and, and baked potatoes. So go ahead and click the thing. Uh, play it order to decide based on how plausible the chosen food would be as a vehicle for government mind control. <laughs> oh my god. Well, okay. Swordfish. Go ahead. Explain. No, no, not, no. I picked baked potato. Oh, I, was, yeah. <laughs> I was recommending swordfish to you. Oh god, I don't fucking know. Like, a vehicle for government mind control. Put a put a light bulb on my baked potato and we get science. We can we can definitely set off brave waves with that. Okay. <laughs> I don't um, know. I don't fucking know. Pizza sticks. <laughs> um, I don't know. Just the cheese. The che There's, it's, it's so, magical. It's, maybe it's so disgusting that it can like get people to like out of yeah, to get like government mind control out of fear. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. They threaten. Eating. They threaten if they don't do this. Yeah. They'll force them to eat pizza sticks. I guess. Uh, you know I hit random for this one. Okay. <laughs> this one really doesn't make any sense. Please be me. Well, oh yeah. Too. Good for I you. Won. Buddy. All right, go ahead. I'm smarter and stuff. Right, keep going. Let's we'll keep moving on. Week one. Evening. Oh wow, we have quite a quite a few weeks ahead of us. All right, so uh, you can pick another locate a new location now. Ooh, cat chick. Oh, wonder what's special about the cat chick at the library. I mean, I mean, I mean, you, don't, I mean you don't have to be the guinea pig. I was just wondering. Alright, just pick one. Bathrooms. Like, you know, I just like taking shits. I know I don't go to school any any day. <laughs> that day you skip class again and hang in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. You also give plus zero shits. <laughs> but you don't stop there. You want the world to know how reckless you are, so for the rest of eternity for the rest of eternity. So you do stuff to graffiti on the wall. No way! The graffiti says, I'm bold as fuck! And you know what? It turns out the wall is a magical wall that grants wishes. Oh shit. Do I gain what like, a wall! Do I gain like eight boldness? A deep voice resounds from within the wall and says, "Well, not bold as fuck, but maybe a bit bold." And then you gain plus two boldness. Oh, dope! Yes, I have thirteen boldness. Dude, you're Damn. pretty fucking bold right now. Oh boy, that's an opinionated wall. Anyway, look at <laughs> you. <laughs> I have like nine hundred ninety-nine boldness now. <laughs> I mean, the, judging by the stats of these games, I probably de say they probably don't go over twenty. So yeah. these are high numbers. Uh, in the middle of everything, a portal opens up and swallows Vera, Polly, and Liam. You dive in to rescue them and straight into... 
the season finale of the <laughs> interdimensional bachelor. What the fuck is with the guy on the right? <laughs> I, I'm gonna assume he's the bachelor. I'm gonna assume he's incredibly flaming. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, help. I, I'm in danger of spraining my eyes from rolling them so hard. <laughs> he's definitely the nerd. <laughs> oh my god, we're on a gig show! <laughs> yes, indeed. Tonight. Oh, no, wait. I gotta, uh, I gotta think of a good boy. So. Yes, awesome indeed. Move. Tonight, you three will answer a series of trivia, and I mean trivia, questions. Whoever gets the most points becomes my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> becomes so my... I'm gonna win! I don't even care about the prizes! <laughs> your what? Your wife? What a revolting premise. Uh, so you're saying you're, we're, we're supposed to respond to a series of questions and scenarios? Our answers to which will make us more or less likely to achieve a romantic outcome with you. Oh shit, is he breaking the fourth wall right now? This oh game? god, no. <laughs> That's extremely problematic. I can't think of anyone who would ever want to play such a ta tawdry dating game. Well, shit, he did it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody stop raising reasonable concerns so I can hear the first question. <laughs> That's the spirit. Yeah, question number one. She's a ghost. What? She's a ghost. Oh, That's oh the spirit. Raise the spirit. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the spirit. Question number one. Describe your ideal marriage proposal. But before Polly can answer, you buzz in yourself. Now's your chance to give an answer that will end the competition and send the prince packing. Oh yeah, get his ass out of here. Okay, uh, click. After, uh, wait, after this I have to show you a video of this proposal that was, it's terrible, but that's the yeah, Terrible? It's, yeah. But dude, that's, that's, that's sadistic. You don't want to watch a proposal where they say no. Do you no, know no, they say, they say yes, but oh, the way okay. you know, okay, they, like, they have, they, they, fucked fly, up. they fly the ring on in a drone, but like while the guy's trying to say like, I do yeah or, or you marry me yeah the drone you she can't hear him because it's just <laughs> she's like what are you saying he's like will you marry what <laughs> I know what though the drone drops the ring or something no the or? drone hovers right above them and she's like go away but but the guy hired the drone no yeah <laughs> oh it's fucking funny she didn't know what was happening oh uh, I, okay. I I present you with my grandmother's wedding ring still attached to my <laughs> naked grandmother <laughs> <laughs> or Johnny. jaw on hinges, bees pour out. Wow, that's like a fucking possession reference. <laughs> that's fucking funny. Um, you 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 I unhinge your jaw bonus. and let the bees pour <laughs> out. You definitely couldn't do this back in your home dimension. Ah, uh, stop that! You're supposed to answer with words, not bees, not the bees. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should have specified that. Bees seem like a legitimate answer to me. What are you against advent garnered forms of expression? Words are so passe. Oh man, I was gonna say bees. You totally stole my answer. You look so disgusted, man. And she looks all pissed no, off. She looks even. He looks even more disgusted. Ugh, what the fuck, bees? <laughs> wait, wait, I got it. Polly unhinges her ghostly jaw, and the thousands of locusts pour out. Oh, Damn, God, no. you wish you thought of that. Locusts are way cooler. Doesn't matter though, the prince is so busy fending off bugs, you can't focus on keeping you within his dimension. You all teleport back home. You're pleased with your victory, although your throat is a little hoarse. Which is ironic because a little hoarse isn't what came out of your mouth. You gain plus two creativity and plus one boldness. Dude, I'm gonna be the most bold person. Yeah, dude, in you're, the you're, you're gonna like. You're gonna instantly. You. You're bold. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so it'll be my turn. I'm gonna go to the gym, because I totally look the jock type. The gym, uh, gym is low. Where am I looking at? Stupid. Low, right there. Yeah. Gym. Well, well, damn, you know I chucked that dodgeball when the curvature of it changes. <laughs> <laughs> that day, an epic dodgeball ma match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit. Yes, I farted. <laughs> <laughs> Leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural born leader. Sweet. Oh, I guess you won that one, the, the leader thing. Well, leader you isn't a answer. leader isn't a um a stat. Uh, I, and I get charm instead. Charm. Cool, I'm down with charm. All right. Hey, Splisher, darling. <laughs> oh, oh my God, look at that chin outfit. <laughs> it's me, lovely fan favorite Polly. You know, I wasn't always a ghost. Really? I figured you were alive at one point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is about to get real. Hear me out. <laughs> I used to be alive, but I Whoa. died with unfinished business. I lost a game of freaking dodgeball. That's just... why I'm stuck here. Dude, check out the skull guy in the background. <laughs> He's like, dude, hit that, man. <laughs> now I gotta live forever like this until I finish it. And you might ask, what's your unfinished business fan favorite, lovely Polly? I have to kill some dude. <laughs> I guess I can tell you. I really wanted to be her boy. I never did a reverse Romanian Winkleson. What the fuck is that? 
I really hope it's a sex position. Ah! You know, sexually! <sighs> I double clicked on accident. But it's so okay, I got I got the yeah, meaning. It's okay that I if I missed that, I would have fucking butchered you. I need to know that that was a sex position. Don't get me wrong, I love being immortal and walking through walls and shit. <laughs> but my soul will never truly rest until I do that freaky sex move. Oh well. What? No! <laughs> I've done that one loads of times. Just name a time and a place and I'll, re I'll reverse all over your Romanian wrinkles. <laughs> Throw a smoke bomb and escape while leaving a replica of yourself. That should buy you time to figure out what a Romanian, what a reverse Romanian wrinkles it is. Uh, no. Top one, please. I will reverse her wrinkles it all over the damn place. Yeah. Yes! Finally, someone is well versed in freaky sex as I am. Yes. At last, I can be free of my eternal ghostly prison or whatever. But mostly freaky sex. <laughs> All right, it's on prom night, okay? <gasps> oh shit! Do I have it for prom? No. You bring the supplies. I'll bring you all won. my sex expertise. <laughs> you, you beat the game. On I the just first day. I just on no, the first week. Yeah, first week. I fucking win. And hey, purge the zucchini, Admiral. Oh god, I need to research what the fuck this is. You know what I'm talking about. See you soon. Oh god, she just gave me sex eyes. She totally phased out. Oh boy, you might have just gotten yourself tickets to the wildest night of your life. But what the fuck is the reverse for Wendy Winkleson? Yeah, more fun. What are the supplies? For you're now, you're at least 2 plus 3 fun. I have 14 boldness, you have dude, 14 fun. Dude, I'm super fucking fun. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. <laughs> Something happened to... Oh. Me. Uh-oh. You got robbed. No. No. Your, all I, your funness has been stolen. No! I need all that fun to know what a reverse Romanian Winkleson is. There you are, minding your own business and a spying on your classmates way when- Okay. When suddenly- Hey, Splisher, you're sort of a loser sometimes, right? Um, no. Ouch. I'm fucking 14 fun. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and you hang out with other losers like Spicy McNug, Ouch. right? <laughs> oh, damn. Because Spicy McNug is a total loser. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, she's ripping your ass apart. Who I happen to maybe be developing feelings for. Oh, dude. Well, dude. Geez, can't insult me and then follow up. Cool. With well, she's totally Sundari type. Dude. You know, you know what that is. Okay. I can't explain it. They are no, they're nowhere near as attractive or wealthy or ruthless, ruthless as I am. And yet, I find myself so inexplicably drawn to them. I think it's their eyes. It's like there's real depth there, like they're hiding some sort of secret. It's actually because I'm her uh, drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> I keep the drugs behind my eyeballs. <laughs> what do you think it is? Something wonderful or something totally lame? Oh shit. Oh, dude, I can wreck you right here now if I wanted. Uh, the secret behind Spicy McNug's eyes is the secret. That book has changed their life, and their business sense and self confidence is on. Point. I or kind of the, this one. the secret behind Spicy McNug's eyes is the secret of communism. Spicy McNug doesn't believe in ownership of material goods or individual entrepreneurship of any kind. Please oh, wait. pick that one, please. That's the one please. that's gonna bone you with her. No. You, wait, you you don't want him? You don't want to no, bone her? No, I like the secret of communism. But, 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 I don't you, know. but you do realize hmm. that answer is gonna screw you over with her, right? Do you want to take Vera to prom? Is she I your don't... goal for this game? I don't know. Well, well, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be that best friend that you need. You're going the fucking, on point, dude. You're, you're gonna go, the, you're gonna go to her prom. The secret. I love that book. Just keep the face. The yeah, face. you do it, boy. You tap that ass. <laughs> Any publication that puts me in a position to once again absurd my superiority over others with hard work can win me over in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> And any monster who reads that kind of book is out to get something for themselves. In this case, possibly me. Ooh, yeah. I like a monster who isn't afraid to choose to chase down what they want, and we know I'm not too easily won over. Maybe they have a chance with me after all. Vera and Spicy McNug, prom royalty. Oh, Spicy. I'm royal now. <laughs> well, she's she's I, I, she's also the dom type. She's easily the dominating one. It has a nice ring to it. Thanks, Splooshier. Yeah, that's what the Splooshier does. <laughs> no problem. Maybe they'll let you oh be a part God. of the prom court. Even what if you're fun. just a or something. Dude! 17 fun. 17 fun. Dude, you're just lucky. You're just jealous that you have a best friend who's more fun than you. <laughs> you just, I just set you up, dude. I set you up for the lady. All right, everybody chooses an object. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players without thinking. An object, huh? Um, object. My Nintendo Switch. <laughs> uh, uh, a 
phone. Uh, okay, cell phone. Your, your cell phone. Okay. Player order decided based how unsexy it, it would be to use the selected object as a sexual toy. Damn it! <laughs> oh my god. Well, one of the Joy Cons, you know, is definitely appropriate sized <laughs> for them. Are we talking about all cell phones or your cell phone in particular? I don't know. Oh, uh, let's, let's throw up a picture of Devin's cell phone on there that it compares it to a Joy Con. We'll see who which is more likely to go up a woman's badge. <laughs> this so, one has a vibrator. Sorry, I gotta know. go with the switch on this one. <laughs> I mean, definitely gotta go with that Sneaky. one. Yeah. battle wraps it up for this episode right now we're going to continue the game next time thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment about what you're playing in the future and i'll see you guys next time later